Nearly everybody wants to go here. Wine, cheese, history, beaches, Alps, it has everything. Let's use build points and go to France. Welcome to another episode of On Point. My name is Richard Kerr. Today I'm gonna to show you how to maximize your build points for travel to France. Before we start, make sure you hit that subscribe button. With that, let's jump in. Okay, to start today, I wanna to introduce you to the Flying Blue program, which is the loyalty program of Air France and KLM. But specifically, I wanna talk about something they do every single month called promo rewards. Here I'm on the Flying Blue website, and I just go to Earn and Spend Miles tab. And here on flights, it's gonna jump into Discover Our Promo Rewards. What Flying Blue does every single month is they identify certain short, medium, and long haul routes around the world, and they discount the number of miles required to book those tickets. So all you have to do is go to this website every single month, and you can see hey, what routes are targeted and where do prices start from? You can fly short haul around Europe starting at 3,750 miles or you can go all the way to the long haul routes and you'll see here when we're filming this in May of 2023, they have targeted lots of North America routes everywhere from Boston, Miami, DC, Houston, Atlanta, and Dallas. And you can see we can start flying to France from 11,250 flying blue miles. That is 11,250 built points transferred over to flying blue. The way promo rewards work is not every single single day is going to have this price. You're going to have to find availability. Price is going to be variable, but I'm going to show you how to find the best chance at getting the cheapest flights from the U.S. over to Paris. Now, to start, we do not search award flights on the Flying Blue website. We actually go to the KLM or Air France website. It doesn't matter which one you use. They're both going to show the same results. I'm going to start in Boston looking for those cheapest flights that we saw. I'm going to fly to Paris, Charles de Gaulle. Departure date, I'm going to leave blank. One adult economy class. You can search whichever class you like. Now, the reason that I'm going to leave this departure date blank is when I search flights, it's going to bring up an entire month's worth of availability. And I can see here, these are all the dates I can travel from Boston to Paris at the cheapest price currently possible, which is 12,750 miles. That's 12,750 built points transferred to Flying Blue, an incredible value to get over to France. If I click the months at the top, it's going to bring up also, look, almost any single day in July, I can fly to Paris for 12,750 miles. Really incredible value here with the promo rewards. So if you want to go to France, start here. The next thing you have to do is just click one of these dates is going to bring up your flight options and the pricing. You see the 12,750 miles on the nonstop from Boston to Paris. And it just really doesn't get any better or easier than that, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a fantastic deal. Some other things that we're going to do, if you just click change, I just want to do a few additional searches to show you here, my hometown of Atlanta. And I want to fly, let's say to Nice in the South of France. And again, I'm gonna say business class and I'm gonna leave this blank as well. And let's see if I can find any of these promo routes that happen to be going on right now. And just like that, I mean, you have an amazing business class itinerary for only 52,500 bill points. It really doesn't get any better than that. So if you're gonna be searching for flights to France, this is where I suggest that you start. We are gonna bring up an additional option with our friends over at United. And let's just start United Hub, a Starlines Hub at Washington DC Dulles. And we'll go over to Paris as well. We'll search for, let's say a fall trip. You can already see the prices start to populate. All in important book with miles and then we're going to do fine flights and you can see here 40,000 miles in economy and you can see the entire week's worth of availability at the top this is the non-stop flight so a great price and great value here if we click this 30-day calendar it will bring up the entire month's worth of availability as well to say hey is it every single day yeah I can fly almost every single day for the entire month from DC to Paris for 40,000 miles and that's just a really fantastic deal so now let's take a look at hotel options using our built points we're gonna start here on the world of Hyatt homepage let's just start with a fall September trip where we saw there was tons of availability using our miles with either Flying Blue or United. And we're going to use the all important use points button and then we're going to click find hotels. If we zoom in here to Paris, you're going to see lots of different options starting at only 6,500 points for the Hyatt house at the airport, but that's kind of way out in the city. So we'll zoom in a little bit further and you can see the options inside of Paris city center. My favorite Hyatt Paris Etoile or Etoile as they say, depending on how you pronounce it there, pardon my terrible French. I stayed there this past February with my family right next to a subway entrance right next to the metro very convenient only 18,000 points per night because you can see everything else very nice in Paris but also very pricey one of the favorite Hyatt hotels the flagships of the world the Park Hyatt Paris Vendome now 45,000 points per night some other great options here the Hotel de Louvre is wonderful the Hyatt de Madeline is also one that's routinely selected you're not gonna go wrong these are all very fancy you can enjoy your time in Paris looking for something a little different in France besides just Paris we can go down south and on the south coast in Nice around Marseille they have lots 
lots of different options as well. There's lots of small luxury hotels of the world that you can use your Hyatt points at. There are a few different Hyatt properties right on the beach. It's just gonna depend on what are you up for? What do you like to do? What are you looking to see? And as we go down, you can even go over and there's a joie de vie over in Bordeaux if you're looking for a wine trip. This is one of the Hyatt fan favorites. But if you start to look at some of these, I would say castles, spas, manors, there's just incredible value to be had around the entire country of France. Take the train around. It's incredibly efficient, very easy to get around the entire country. If you zoom into the French Alps, they also have some properties here. You're gonna have to search around for dates. These are hotels that are gonna go for a thousand euros a night that you can get for 20, 25, 30,000 built points a night with Hyatt. And you're really just not gonna go wrong whenever you save that kind of money. We're gonna take a quick look over at our partners at IHG as well. We're gonna type in probably the country of France is gonna bring up a significant number of IHG hotels, but I'll show you one of my favorite parts of the website. First to the second of September, all important reward nights selected, and then do a quick search. Once the search results load, you see we have 86 hotels in all of France. And you can start to search through, hey, how many points do I wanna spend? Where are these gonna be? You've got everything from the luxury intercontinentals to intercontinentals in Paris. The Kempton in Paris, also never gonna go wrong with those. You got the functional, you have the family properties, you have a lot of great value around here. Look at these, 21,000 points a night. IHG is gonna have a wide variety of whatever you want, and you can use built points to make it happen there with all of the IHG hotels. If you enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button and notification bell so you never miss an episode in the future. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below and I'm happy to take a look. If you want to travel elsewhere in Europe, check out our episode on Rome. With that, I'll see you out there.